Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the shade of red that is on my face after yesterday's Wilton House Day. And also look at the state of my hair, Jesus. Anyway, today is a busy one. It's Monday, which means it's busy. As you saw from last Monday, um, the start of my daily vlogs, the smart car arrived. And today we are going to be saying farewell to the smart car, my voice. My voice, my face, oh my god. So I've woken up, I've been awake for a while, I'm editing yesterday's video and getting that online ready for this afternoon. You're coming with me, you're gonna be in SB Race Engineering a little bit today as well because I've got a couple of deliveries on their way there and this week, honestly guys, is huge. There's so many cool things happening that I can't wait to uh, bring you on. Like this week, this Tuesday evening and Wednesday is going to be hilarious. Friday is going to be ridiculous. The next week is going to be loads of fun as well. I'm filming with Sam, seen through glass and a few other bits and pieces. So there's so much happening in June. How about that for a breakfast? One bowl of Wheatos. And a football bowl as well. That's good. It's a sad day. I'm wearing sunglasses now. I've worn them once on YouTube, that's it. I'm wearing sunglasses for the entirety of the rest of my videos on Supercars of London. I'm only joking. I will take my sunglasses off, but it is such a nice day again. But it is a sad day nonetheless. Today is the final day I have with the smart car. So I'm en route to SB Race Engineering now, where I'm gonna pick up, hopefully, some posts. Who knew how much fun you could have with 71 brake horsepower? It's not actually the, the horsepower that you need, it's just the turning circle, it's just amazing. The amount of people that I've taken out in this car and they're blown away by how m nimble this car is, is unbelievable. Because this is daily vlogs, I feel like I can talk to you a lot more about just cars. So I'm gonna talk about my haircut that I had last week, which I am very pleased about. You would have seen that I've been slightly doing my hair differently in recent vlogs. However, I don't know whether you can see it, but I've done my hair differently today and it's kind of worked out okay, so I'm pleased with how JHD have done my hair, which is perfect. I'm just gonna go back, show them the video, and say, I want this done again, and again, and again, and again, and now I just continually have two haircuts, two haircuts for the price of one. So I thought that I'd update you whilst I'm heading to SB at my eco score throughout this week. So I got the car on 52, if I remember correctly. I'm now on 65. I thought that I could get it up to 100, but because I haven't done that many miles, um, since having the car for the week and there's been tons more miles done without me driving it's been near impossible to get it up to 100% so I feel like I've done smart proud in terms of getting it up to 65% I've done well on the eco drive and I have had air con up pretty much full the entire time that I've been driving this car because it's been so hot this week I feel like I'm in the tropics or somewhere or Portugal where I'm going in a couple of weeks time cannot wait here comes the parking the rever rear view reversing camera. Then you can go like that. Handbrake on, that's telling me that my seat belt's off while the engine's running. Shush. How good is that? Can't park a normal car in that space. <laughs> Administration complete. A few emails done saying hello to the guys at SB. I also had an interesting phone call from um, Smart Car. Basically, when I was driving into London, I went through the congestion charge zone because I had been told that it was free. However, apparently, I have been conjured a congestion charge in this car, even though my email says this car is zero grams per kilometer, which means it should be free on a congestion charge zone, which is um, highly annoying. Oh, shift to neutral or press the clutch, depress the clutch to start the engine. My car is actually facing the wrong way. I need to be going that way. So, full lock. The best feature on this car. Before I head to SB, I have uh, chilled out for a bit and I'm playing Fit Formula 1 2013 as practice for a YouTube series that me and Sam Sing Through Glass are doing. And as you can tell by how excited the newspapers have got. So this is Formula 1 2013, I'm going to head over to SB Race Engineering soon, do a bit of admin and then hopefully my package from Amazon will have arrived too. So this is the first day that I've really had the chance to play this game and um, it's pretty cool at the moment. It's only 2013 and I don't have the really cool ways in which you can record 
the screen. So at the moment, I'm just doing it off my phone. Um, and as you can see, season objective 14, my final stand. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what goes on here, but bearing in mind the average points per race, zero. 6.3, so I am winning. Oh yeah, no, there's a position six. Versus 16. I'm just chilling out at the moment, playing the Formula 1 2013 game. It's going well, it's going well, um, but I'm just getting my practice in. I'm almost going to be heading to SB. I don't know whether to do another race or not, um, but because I can't film and race, you can't see whether I do have another race or not. Oh God, look at my sunburn. It's awful, my nose is so red. Anyway, um, I'm waiting for a package to get delivered at SB. Um, one package, which is just a portable charger for my phone, rechargeable battery thing, and the other package is training train tickets for tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the zoom. I don't want to get my overgrown driveway in the way, but there you go. The smart car is going. And it's gone. Look at it go. No. Smart car has gone. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the smart car, which um, sad to see it go. And um, well, I zoomed in so much because one, this is my mum's house and I don't want people knowing where I live. <laughs> and two, um, the um, front driveway is also very overgrown, so I might go and cut the grass. Um, however, the smart car is gone. That means that my whole afternoon now is freed up. I was here. I was hoping that that car would cut, the guy would come early. Three till five, I got told the smart car could um, come and get picked up. So I'm glad it's now. I'm going to finish my race at the Catalonia circuit, head over to SB and finish off my afternoon there. But now I get to drive the R8. Here we are, old friend. It is so hot in here, so low, so wide, and actually really noisy as well. The smart car really changed my perception on uh, what this car is like. I thought this was quite conservative, but it's not. It's just not. It's uh, <laughs> it's quite ridiculous, and I uh, can't believe I'm in the position where I get to drive this. And now I get to drive it on a daily basis. I just put a post out on Instagram that says, what do you want to see me drive next in terms of like a hot hatch or a city car? Something that I can test around, drive into central London, have some fun with. Let me know in the comment box below. It will be really interesting to see what you have to say. I really want to line up the likes of the A45 AMG, the Mercedes. I haven't driven that yet. I also want to put it to the test against the S3 and the BMW M series and all of that sort of stuff. So um, fingers crossed this summer's going to be a lot of fun and fingers crossed even more that I get to drive a few different cars, some varieties of different cars. So we can have a lot of fun and make some cool videos on these daily vlogs. All weekend we've had blue sky. Now we've got a rain cloud. Please refuel. See, I used all my fuel at Wilton House yesterday, and now I'm having to talk, and my voice isn't as strong as it has been. What a surprise, low fuel. I did kind of cruise back from Wilton House yesterday. I just didn't want to refuel, because I knew that I had some fuel left in the smart car that I could use up before it was going today. And uh, welcome back to the R8. I need to get fuel, but I'm not going to do it today because I'm not driving my car until... This is how good the plans are for the daily vlogs. I don't think I'm driving it until Sunday. No, Friday. I'm driving it on Friday. I'm driving it on Friday. Meeting up with Aspect Valeting. It'll be good to see him. Get him on camera. Ben, he's a cool guy. So Friday, I'm going to drive the car next. So there's no point in getting fuel. This is my view arriving at SB. We've got the SB van, the beast that carries all of the race equipment. There's a 360 race car there that isn't the SB race engineering 360. You'll all know that's white. And then look at that Ferrari F40 gleaming in the sun. I feel like a kid on Christmas. for a rechargeable external battery power thing. 16,000 mAh, so I think it's gonna have a lot of charge, but I did not expect it to be this big. Not at all. Holy moly. This is going to have plenty of charges. 
How can I work out how big it is? It's the exact, or oh, slightly smaller and slightly thinner, but bigger than the iPhone 6 Plus. This is the Plus. Ridiculous. I'm now waiting for the baby blue Fit 500 to come and pick me up. Rucksack on, ready to go. There goes my phone. <laughs> and um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, but it's all a case of juggling cars, which is why I'm gonna be in the Fiat, having to come here so that I'll drop my girlfriend off at her work so that then I can get my car. And oh, It is chaos, and I literally, my, my brain at the moment is too tired to work out what is going on. I might play a bit of F1 again this evening to get myself uh, practiced and, and ready for F1 2015 when that comes out. Um, I'm looking forward to that, and so is Sam, seen through glass. If you're watching this, I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna take you down. Uh, and there's loads of cool stuff coming. The next two days are gonna be so fun. I cannot wait to tell you where I'm going. I still don't know, I haven't checked my emails. So um, I will let you know, probably when I'm in the fear. I'm gonna check my emails now. And then on the way home, if we go to the food shop, then it's gonna be difficult to vlog, but I'll do my best and try and vlog. I always see these daily vloggers, like vlogging in public all the time, and I find it very difficult. And it doesn't help as well that my voice is going. So, and there it is. The baby blue Fiat 500, my ride for tonight. So I'm now behind the wheel of the baby blue Fiat 500 cruising down to Morrison's to pick up some frozen chips for our ever so healthy dinner. So uh, this is not quoting the London Muscle Cutting Guide, but we're having sausage pizza and chips. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna basically train everything three times to burn off all of the calories. What's more girly than a baby blue Fiat 500? Spotting and filming a rainbow from a baby blue Fiat 500. Right, we've just finished Morrison's. There was playing uh, music, which is bad for content ID. I still should look into the um, music rights and things like that. How long you can play music for? Because I do see some YouTubers playing a lot more um, music than, well, I've never played a single bit of music in the video unless it's uh well anyway i'm rambling on that is the end of the vlog today i'm gonna go home eat then have um some chill out time before i go to the gym in the evening i also need to pack an overnight bag for tomorrow because i'm heading into london then um like i said earlier in the vlog on the train to somewhere i still don't know i didn't check my email actually which i um said to you that I would. So that's it for today. The smart car was fun whilst it lasted. It's gone now. And I've realized I've driven three different cars today, which is pretty cool. And over the next few days, I'm gonna be driving a lot more. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. I always say that every time, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, bye-bye. Hello. Welcome to my sunglasses. They match my car. Tom doesn't know the way I am driving in front. I know Tom's deciding to drive in front. Oh,